I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin from Arizona Sports 620, and I'm on the red carpet of Muhammad Ali's Celebrity Fight Night. We've got actors, we've got musicians, and of course, we've got athletes. And tonight's a big night, because we are also celebrating the champ's 70th birthday. I first saw him when I was 10, and I see the course of history for women's athletics without Muhammad Ali might be different. To be able to, to hear and see the things that he's done with his life, and see how he's fighting right now, to, to to make, to, you know, to raise money for the disease that he's getting ready to, to overcome is really awesome. And I mean, he was, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be doing the things that I've done now. What does this event mean and why do you choose to come to it out of all the celebrity charity events to go to? Uh, this is the best event in the world and I know I've been to enough of them. Um, I came here first 12 years ago and I was just blown away by the support, the atmosphere, the champ, obviously. I think that's where it starts at the top, um, but the support from the community, it's just, it's really, yeah, I feel privileged to be here every year. Pacquiao Mayweather, are we going to see it? I think so. I think so. Uh, both of the fighters, are, like I was just telling people, they said, what you think about uh, uh, Pacquiao? I say, he, I say, he have heart. What you think about Mayweather? He got skills. And so, you know, I said, it match for a good fight. They said, well, who do you think will win? I said, that's the reason we want to see the fight. If you knew who going to win, you wouldn't have to watch it. Is your bracket busted, or did you pick Ohio State to win it all? Oh, without a doubt. You know, I picked Ohio State to go all the way, and, you know, they're proving me right so far. You So that wasn't just a home favorite pick? You really think that they can win it all? Oh, absolutely. they got a good basketball team, and, uh, you know, they've been good throughout, you know, the years that that model's been there, and they just get, keep getting better and better. Does it make you nervous that Jared Allen is coming behind you? Like, do you ever get, you know, chills when you've got a guy like that still chasing you down, but this time it's on the red carpet? Well, the thing is, without my uniform on, I feel pretty safe around him, that he knows that I'm retired, but I didn't feel very safe when I had to play against him. You're right. It was always looking over my shoulder to see where he was at. It's really tough for me to get that NFL ticket and watch the Minnesota Vikings when you guys struggled like you did last year. It was hard for me to show up and play when we struggled like we did last year. You know what? I got to put faith in our organization that they're going to make the right moves. Soon, hopefully. I, don't give me the cliche, Soon. like, athlete some, lingo. I've been, watching, I've been watching ESPN every day, seeing what moves we're making. I'm trying to figure this thing out, too. We can't be any worse. So that's that's what that's what I got looking for, forward to. So. That does it for me from the red carpet. Muhammad Ali's Celebrity Fight Night. We got to check in with all the great stars. Kurt Warner, Evander Holyfield, Billy Blanks, Beanie Wells. We did it all tonight. I'm Kennedy St. Aubin for Arizona Sports 620.